Hey everybody, just working on uh, some things that I'm changing my golf swing and it's kind of slow motion training. I'm just, you know, getting into, uh, getting into positions and sometimes really contracting the, the muscles and the lines of fascia that, that I want to, um, that I want to engage. So, you know, when I'm, when I'm going back into the backswing, I want to get deep into this right hip. You know, so many, so many people, including me, they, they go, they go back and they go forward. You know, you can see, uh, see something behind my butt here. You know, if I'm going back, I'm going forward. And then if I go forward, when I turn to, it's a jump, right? You have to jump. And so what I'm working on is just getting more back and then turning this, you know, back. And so you can see whatever you can see. And then from this point, you know, a person could still, um, I saw it today in, in one of my students, a person could still, that I just got, um, they can still jump. And it's if they don't rotate uh, well, they need to build those moves into their body. Um, so right now I'm working on going back and then the same thing. So you can see my tush line, my butt line, you know, I haven't, uh, I haven't started here, come back and gone there, and the impact there. What I want to do, if anything, start with the balls on, um, the weight in the balls of my feet, and then just sit back into my, uh, into the, the middle between my balls and my and my heels and then rotate the pelvis through and um, do the back moves so that's not ever stuff you think about on the course it's just this is me training uh, my muscles and my fascia and my ligaments and everything to get into these positions so that um, I can move the same way that I see players that are a thousand times better than me move, you know, um, <clears throat> so, so yeah, that's what I'm working on in my body, getting better tr uh, trunk balance and, um, uh, yeah, better rotation and, uh, not sliding so much, you know, my old, what I'm trying to get away from is sliding too much and, and jumping and extending extending here, which means my arms have to extend. I'm trying to stay deep into my right and then rotate and have a bent right elbow. This is all so extreme. This doesn't even happen, you know, barely in the best. But um, you've got to exaggerate. I've got to, we have to exaggerate to build these patterns into our bodies, to condition them into our bodies, it seems. So, so um, <clears throat> what else am I working on? Uh, I, I would I would keep the club. Um, I would bring it back really steep and closed. So uh, I found this right when I got to Hawaii and I started actually filming my swing and watching it in slow-mo. That, uh, yeah, I would bring it back really steep and really closed. And then what's funny is I brought it back really steep and really close, so, you know, that's one of those things where we've got to see uh, what, what affects what. So what I'm doing now is I weaken my grip a little bit. This is about, this is about it, okay? And uh, there's my, my left hand, my right. <clears throat> I do an overlapping grip. I've done everything. I've done interlock. I've done overlap. I've done... Um, 10 finger grip, I've tried baseball grip, just for, just for fun, just on the range, you know. I've, I've played uh, on the course with interlock, overlap, and 10 finger though. Anyway, I like overlap right now. <clears throat> um, and the, the grip changes that I made, you know, I went from here to here and made this a little bit more weak, a little more, uh, um, what would be counterclockwise, and I did the same with my right hand. Anyway, so I'm also working on getting the club a little more flat and well we'll call it yeah flat and open instead of instead of here okay I want to get a little more here these are the, the changes I'm making right this is, I'm not prescribing you anything at all here I'm just talking about what what I'm uh, what I'm working on and how I'm doing it so I noticed that 
if you, uh, if you, you know, your setup and your takeaway can, can really um, affect the club face and your path. So I'm going to set up like this, keep this elbow like this. A lot of guys do this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate that, you know, so, so the club face opens and it's a little more flat. I'm going to go up like this, and then I'm going to come back down the same way, still have that club face um, stability, and uh, instead of coming steep and shut, and then opening it a little bit and hitting cuts, I want to uh, come in a little more on, on plane, uh, with a more square club face to hit uh, what I want to hit, you know, power cuts and, and straight shots for newly balls, if you don't know what that is in for a surprise one day, and, uh, and draws, <clears throat> and wherever I need to hit. Um, so that's pretty much it. Uh, something really interesting is Ben Hogan talked about, well, actually, I don't know if it was actually from his source, but he talked about getting the, the right hip deep <laughs> and feeling, uh, I'm not going to tell you. It's too, it's too ridiculous. If you want to, um, if you want to privately message me for sure but on a video it's probably a little out there <clears throat> but um yeah i don't know if there's anything else to talk about you know and then on the way down uh what i'm feeling now because i've come down um steep and shut uh i you know change my grip and and my goal is to flatten it out a bit and keep it a little more open this is way too exaggerated this isn't you know slow motion and making hitting positions while you're just chilling out in a workout room is one thing and, and when you're hitting balls is another but just just dramatizing it is great um, and then what I do when I'm looking in the mirror face on you know, I'm going back into my positions and rotating keeping this right hip high you know level hips level hips instead of um, this sagging and then this sagging does nothing, level, level, working on that as well, so I, I <clears throat> you know, if you want to change your golf swing, you've got to change the way that you move instinctually, and to change that, it seems like you've got to do a lot of slow motion stuff, you've got to maybe work out and exercise differently, you know, change your body, and, and that entails a lot of different stuff, so if you're looking to change your golf swing, and you just think one little tip is going to do it, you're wrong. You know, it takes work. It takes effort. And if you're not a, a freak athlete and can't move really well and rotate really well and have a very mobile and, uh, and, and strong back and uh, educated hands and, and know, you know, you can feel where the, where the club face is in space and have an awareness of where that is. If you don't have all that stuff and hand-eye, then you've got to work, you know, and the cool thing is there's pleasure in the work. There is pleasure in discovering and moving your body in different ways. There's a new posture that you hold. There's a new um, sense of freedom of movement. There's a new awareness of your body and your swing. There's better ball striking. So the journey is great if you endeavor along the journey of bettering the way that you move. That's my opinion. That's what I feel. So, yeah, that's what I've been working on. Slow motion swings, getting into the positions that I am not getting into when I film my swing in slow-mo and you can see it. And uh, modeling how better players move. And why not model the best ball strikers? Because um, they all move very similarly, if you know what you're looking for. Thanks for listening. Let me know if you have any questions. Ciao for now.